Hey there, Andy here, and this is just a very, very short video about costings, and I've had a great idea. Um, I've got to replace my turbo next week. I've known the turbo was a little bit weak since I bought the van. I've driven it, you know, 15, 20,000 miles now. I'm listening to that turbo and going, that's getting worse. I think that's time to get it in the garage. It's going to cost me a grand to do the turbo, but I mean, once it's done, that's going to like go on forever. That will go for the rest of the lifetime of the van. So it's a good thing to do. Um, but I always plan ahead with my finances. And I looked at the number that I'd written down and I save 40 quid a week every week for like future servicing. And that comes out about two grand a year. And I looked at it and I went, do you know what? I had the cam belt done with the MOT um, and like a proper good service then. That was a grand. Then I had the thing serviced eight weeks ago. That was a hundred and something. So that was 1100 quid. And now I've had to do the turbo. And I'm going, crikey. And I'm going to need tyres um, after Christmas and probably brake pads and brake blocks too. And I thought that figure is actually wrong. So I've now upped it from saving £40 a week to £55 a week. And it just kind of gives me that allowance um, because nothing will kill your business quicker than cash flow problems. So, you know, it's important that we keep a little bit of cash ahead for the future, isn't it? For all these little unknowns and for saving up for the career exchange when it's due and your insurance. I know you can pay your insurance monthly, so that's not you know, necessarily going to kill you stone dead. But you do save an awful lot of money if you pay your insurance all in one go. And it's something that I always try and do. Anyway, just a little thought about, you know, what our maintenance actually costs. If you're saving for it, is that on target? And I had another thought. When I go in and see my garage um, on Monday, I'm going to go, look, I have my van serviced every 10,000 miles. What's it going to need in 10,000 miles? Probably going to need four tyres and it's going to need brake pads. What's it going to need at the next service? Probably just oil. What's it going to need eight weeks after that? So I'm going to have my servicing mapped out for me on a bit of paper and just have a really good idea of what the labour charges will be, what the price of the parts is going to be. And sure, you know, there's going to be unexpected things, you know, that hit you, aren't there? You know, there's always going to be defects now and again on a van. But I just thought if you've got the basic kind of servicing all mapped out and kind of costed somewhere near right, and then you add on like that bit extra because you might need a battery or you might need this or you might need that, just helps you plan ahead, doesn't it? Because nothing will kill your business quicker than cash flow problems. And it will kill it stone dead like that. Anyway. <laughs> There's a happy thought for you, isn't it? Cash flow. Crikey. Listen, be lucky, stay lucky, but stay lucky by planning ahead and get to grips with those numbers. Because like I said, I, you know, saved for um, my servicing and I've looked at the numbers today and I've gone, that's wrong. I need to up that. I, I was wrong. Listen, I made an effort. I wasn't a billion miles out, um, but... Distant early warning, you can sort it out. Listen, as I said, stay lucky, be lucky, plan ahead. Catch you another time, folks.